Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So we're going to remember Carrie Fisher forever, but I wanted to do my top 10 ways I think that Star Wars should remember her within the movies. Carrie Fisher herself was a lifelong comedian, so I broke this into my top 5 actual serious ways that I think they should do it, and then my top 5 less serious ways. So most of these are going to focus on the stuff inside the movies themselves. So number 5, Leia is supposed to be huge in both episode 8 and episode 9. All of Carrie Fisher's scenes were already shot for episode 8, but obviously they haven't started shooting episode 9. Kathleen Kennedy, the other Star Wars people, said that she was going to have key scenes in episode 9, meaning that she was going to be really important for the story. So I don't think that they should try to Franken-style edit around outtakes from previous scenes they've shot with her to like create new scenes and try to tell the story of how she leaves the Star Wars universe, like whatever her goodbye is. Use a CG Leia if you need to, to give her a real goodbye scene that drives the story and the characters forward. Don't try to cobble something together that doesn't make any sense. We all understand what's happened. Obviously, they'll need to address it somehow, but just out of respect for the actress and the character, her death should have meaning. So number four, do not try to shoehorn in digital Leia throughout the entire movie. You saw the end of Rogue One. They can do whatever they want. Like, they literally have the technology to do whatever they want. But I feel like Kathleen Kennedy and the other Star Wars producers will be the first to veto a complete digital Leia throughout the entire movie just because it'd be a complete perversion of the technology and her memory. Use a small scene early in the film with digital Leia that becomes a big catalyst for the Resistance as well as Kylo Ren's character. So the way they describe the Resistance in Episode 7 is that they're way smaller than the Rebellion, like that small ragtag group you see her leading is about all they have. It's not like the original trilogy Rebellion. Even the First Order is a much smaller group of people than the Empire was. But during Rogue One, there's actually a scene where a hammerhead corvette literally rams one of the Star Destroyers into another Star Destroyer. It's this epic scene, so why not let Leia go out like that using a Corellian Corvette, a nice callback to her introduction in Episode 4. It's been a long time since we've seen Leia have any fun, have like a genuine action scene. This would be like a really fitting way for the character to go out, helping her friends, helping the Resistance, and going out in a blaze of glory. Number three, lay her to rest with her family. So a lot of this depends on who is alive at the end of Episode 9, but let's say that Luke Skywalker passes away sometime during the trilogy during Episode 8 or Episode 9, becomes a Force ghost in the way Obi-Wan Kenobi did as he continues to help Rey and give her guidance on her path. But put Leia's physical remains to rest with Luke's physical remains in Vader's physical remains, anything that's left. Obviously, Kylo Ren carries Vader's helmet around, but I feel like they wouldn't lay that to rest with the Skywalker family remains just because it's not representative of Anakin Skywalker's life as Anakin Skywalker. It's all about his time as Darth Vader. So that's why Luke left that behind on Endor. You know, this is not who you were. You were Anakin Skywalker. And even though the planet that Han Solo's remains were on was completely destroyed, I feel like Kylo Ren or Leia or someone would have something to remember him by. They would lay those remains with the rest of the Skywalker family. Number two, keep her goodbye meaningful and serious, but also allow some of real life Carrie Fisher to bleed into the moment. Allow the characters that knew her, like the Resistance characters, Finn, Poe, to remember her in really funny, meaningful ways. Like you would tell funny stories and memories about loved ones and friends at wakes after their passing. So we know a lot about Leia's life during the original trilogy. There aren't that many characters that remember her that are still alive today from that period. Most of the characters that she's with now are younger, people from the Resistance. So they would be remembering General Leia. So I feel like there are a lot of funny remembrances of General Leia that we haven't heard before that they could work into the film in minor ways. The end of Return of the Jedi is actually a really good example of this, of how you go from a very serious, meaningful, private, family tribute where Luke Skywalker makes a funeral pyre for Anakin Skywalker as like a final send-off and then they have the celebration where he remembers his life as Anakin not as Darth Vader you know and like I said he left the Vader helmet and the armor behind so even though it's very sad that she's passed away you allow the characters to remember the good things about her the happy memories it will probably be the most cry worthy moment of the film even the most hardcore dude bros 
will be crying in the theater. So number one thing, though, is that the death of Kylo Ren's mother should be a turning point for his character. I know a lot of you are split on which direction you'd like the character to go. Like, you don't want it to be a complete retread of Darth Vader. Don't You know, don't want to see any kind of redemption for him, even though he's seemingly tried to cut himself off from the light side of the force by killing his father, the death of his mother would be such a spiritual crack in him, you know, such like a tremor in the force that he would either have to go really crazy or it would have to be a turning point for him where he finally goes against Snoke in the way that Darth Vader saw Luke dying and that was the turning point for him where he killed the Emperor. So Kylo Ren just like can't sit on the fence forever. When your mother dies, it's just like the most serious, most gut-wrenching thing that could possibly happen in a family. So whatever happens, you know, whatever way they choose to treat it, everyone's going to be crying. And, and obviously, from the Disney Lucasfilm side of things, they are going to be very serious about it. But on the lighter side of things, top five less serious, more fun ways to remember her character. Number five, reprogram a droid with all of her sass, K2SO style. So even though Leia isn't around, the memory of her wit is still around. She had some of the best sass during the original trilogy. Looking forward to lots of Leia sass in episode 8 and episode 9 too. Number four, just a montage of Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia doing stand-up in a random cantina the way Carrie Fisher used to do stand-up when she would do Comic-Con panels. A lot of times people ask her Star Wars questions. Of course, she's attending conventions, mostly because of her time as Princess Leia, but she would usually use her time on panels to just talk about funny things, talk about real life, contextualize mental health. She did a really good job of normalizing mental health just because people look at Princess Leia and say, oh, you have problems, I have problems too. Maybe it's not so weird that I'm like this. Slightly more funny, number three, Leia never fully trained as a Jedi, but she is force sensitive. So give her some moments where she gets to mind control some first order troopers in the way that Daisy Ridley did during The Force Awakens. You know, she's force sensitive, but she hasn't trained yet, but she can still mind control Daniel Craig's stormtrooper here. If you guys didn't know, this is actually 007 himself, Daniel Craig underneath this helmet. Number two, let her wield a lightsaber in the film. She's actually done it in the comics before. There was like this big one page panel like, oh my God, everybody gets a lightsaber. It was like that Return of the Jedi R2 moment to a thousand degrees. In number one, there's no way this is going to happen, but it'd be so amazing if Leia and Luke could manifest a new force ability using the fact that they're twins and their close connection. Usually the idea is that multiple Jedi working together are stronger than one Jedi alone, but they're twins, so they already shared a special biological connection that had nothing to do with the Force. So you would think that that would also give them some extra Force abilities that normal Jedi wouldn't have. Let me know in the comments though, how do you want them to pay tribute to Carrie Fisher or Princess Leia in episode 9? Carrie Fisher in real life was such a comedian. She was like the first person to say, do not take life too seriously. She actually had her remains carried to her funeral. Like it was a very private family funeral, but her remains were carried in an urn made to look like a Prozac pill. So she was having fun with people even after she passed away. So in that tone too, a lot of you are talking about Princess Leia spinoff movie. I feel like they should wait till well after episode nine to do any kind of Princess Leia treatment. But spin-off films for big characters should only be told after their story is done being told in the future. And there still is a lot of future Leia story left to tell. There will be another video later tonight, but feel free to suggest new Star Wars bonus videos in the comments. While you guys wait for that to post, you can click here for my Kylo Ren Episode 8 teaser video. And you can click here for my Obi-Wan Ray theory. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.